So welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to discuss about BBA course versus BCom course. Okay. So BBA is a Bachelor in Business Administration and BCom is Bachelor in Commerce. So let's start. So first we'll have a general idea about what is these two courses are. So BCom course is all about uh, a person, okay, a graduate person who knows about accounting and a few business related subjects okay so his core is going to be accounting and is a minor subject would be something like uh, business management and in bba it's the exact opposite so in bba uh, your management related subjects and business related subjects are going to be the core and accounting is going to be the non core okay so you have to choose whether you are an accountant okay or a business manager so that's where these two courses are going to clash but there's not huge difference between the two apart from this but still we look at what are the small small differences here so first we look at what are the subjects there are in bcom so financial accounting corporate accounting cost accounting management accounting business law company law business mathematics indirect income tax and indirect tax auditing management and economics so these are the subjects in bcom in BBA, we have principles of management, which is a, again a lot of theory subjects would be here. Business mathematics, uh, numerical paper, operations research, again a numerical paper. Financial accounting, management accounting, again numbers based paper. Business economics, production management, marketing management, strategic management, HR management, and international business management. So you could easily see here that. Most of the subjects in BCom would be numbers based subject and most of the subjects in BBA are going to be theory based subject. Okay, so that is going to be a main difference here. So who should go for BBA or what are the good points for this course? Okay, let's discuss them. Number one, it's a good course for students who don't like accounting. They should go for BBA. Students who don't like numbers based paper at all, they should again go for BBA. If you are planning to do MBA, then doing BBA is like great because most of the subjects that you study, uh, or you can't say most, actually all of the subjects that you study in BBA would come on in MBA because in a semester you will be like studying five papers, five subjects. So in six semesters you will be like studying 30 subjects, right? So these 30 subjects will be very, very helpful when you are doing an MBA. But uh, it's not that you have to do BBA to go for an MBA. It's nothing like that because uh, MBA is a very open course. It uh, you Anyone who has a BCom, BBA, uh, BE or uh, even if it's a lawyer or he's a doctor, anyone can do a MBA. So there's no restrictions at all for MBA here. And BBA has like, like how we, what we discussed earlier, it has a lot of theory subjects okay marketing management hr management like that and students who like to go for a work which is like marketing related advertising related hr related they should go or opt for a bba okay so these are the good points for bba so let's look at the bad points for bba okay why bba is not such a great course number one when compared to BCom, it does not have any uh, much accounting focus. If you are like planning to do a professional accounting course, for example, you want to do CA, then choosing BBA would be a very worst choice. Okay. Why are we saying like that? Because if you take a course like CA, it has, it is like full and full of accounting concepts and accounting subjects. And BBA is like having a very few uh, accounting subjects so there is not uh, any much of overlap maximum we can say something like five percent or ten percent of bba would come in uh, ca but if you take a course like bcom okay bcom and ca are like mostly they are like uh, uh, same okay they are like mostly same because once you study things for ca you don't even need to study for bcom at all because almost like 80 percent of the subjects will overlap between ca and bcom okay so it's like if you study for b uh, ca bcom would be like free you don't need to put effort at all so 
the idea is if you are choosing any professional accounting course then don't BBA will not be the ideal combination it would be BCom right so have that is a huge and major point here and if you are going to apply for any foreign courses something like ACC or SEMA these courses give exemptions that means for example if you take ACCA has 13 subjects in that 13 if you do a if you are doing a BCom or if you have done a BCom then you will get four subjects you you don't need to write exams at all okay the balance nine alone you have to write exams but if you choose bba out of the 13 only one subject is exempted why is that because the four subjects which are exempted in uh, acca for bcom students is these four subjects are accounting papers okay that's why they are exempted and why just one subject is exempted for bba because bba students will not have studied accounting okay so they don't give exemptions for those papers okay so that becomes a drawback but this is a drawback only if you're going to choose acca sema like that for any other accounting uh, courses they don't have this kind of a rule so there's also another another uh, difficulty here if you are trying to go for an accounting related job then the company will choose the bcom candidate over a bba candidate okay so because bcom candidates will easily know what is gst taxation indirect taxation uh, or a tax lab tax rate everything they might know but a bba student it's like it's very rare that they know these details okay so if you're going as an accounting uh, accountant role then the company will choose a bcom candidate okay so it's not that uh, see there's another huge problem here uh, companies usually filter out candidates okay in the first even before interviewing they will just filter out candidates so for uh, for for an opening accountant opening and if they are going to receive around some 100 resumes and out of 100 resumes uh, 20 is going to be bba and 80 is bcom 20 bba students would be eliminated in the first selection round itself okay the the resume itself will not go to the second round okay it will just get filtered only the 80 resumes of bcom students that alone will go to the next round okay so from that they will eliminate each and every uh, every candidate and finally they might choose like two or three candidates okay so you hope you guys got the idea if you are going to apply for an accounting role bba will not be a ideal choice that's again another problem here if you want to study mcom in future okay you might not get a admission because the rule in india is if you are going to choose mcom you should have done a bcom okay so that becomes a rule so it's not that all universities follow this rule some universities follow this kind of a rule okay so again if you are having any plan to do mcom in future then bba would not be such a great choice and this is a very small problem some government jobs okay they want a person who has done this kind of a qualification for example if you say that you are an M mba they ask you what is your ug degree undergraduate degree it should be bba okay so the combination should be like bba mba or it should be bcom mcom for example i have done bcom and mba okay uh, some jobs government jobs uh, i can't apply okay for example a professor job okay i can't apply it in a government because they want a person who has done bcom mcom or bba mba i have done bcom mba so that that kind of a uh, option they are not allowing so if you are planning to do uh, if you are planning to do any government job or any professor uh, government job as a professor then your combination should be BBA MBA or BCom MCom. Okay, so that is another restriction that uh, some governments and some universities might have for their job. So these are the bad points for BBA. So what's our verdict? Our verdict is going to be: if you like numbers and accounting, then go for BCom, or else go for BBA. So hope we sorted out. Uh, the confusion between BB and BCom, okay, our choice is going to be BCom only. So you guys can reach me at my website. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn. I am very active on LinkedIn. 
uh, and you can also reach me at Twitter. So if you guys really like the video, put a like for us and share it with your friends who might find it useful. So if you guys have any queries or questions, post it in the comment section. We'll be like happy to answer them. If you guys have any other ideas for further videos, uh, you can put it in the comment section. We'll be like uh, creating a new video on that topic also. So thank you guys. We'll meet in the next video.